Hey guys, Noob here, and it is time for the next loot crate. Yes, this is the July loot crate, which is Heroes Part 2. I actually have been subscribed to Loot Crate for um, like just over a year now, so I was around for Heroes Part 1, and I do believe I have it up on the channel, so if you want to see what that one was like, uh, it's definitely up, but here's this one, and it's rattling, and I think that's the pen, but I don't really know. So, I have my trusty set of keys, and we are going to crack this open and see what we got. So, from my understanding, this month um, was definitely kind of like an expansion on the last one. It has a lot of the same theme to it. This is... I know last time it had um, um, some Batman stuff in it and things of that sort, and I think this one might too, because have some sort of Legend of Zelda item, etc, etc. So, first peek into box. I love it when they do these like cute little like s almost settings. Um, inside the boxes. Oh, that's really cute. Um, and I usually keep the really nice ones up on my shelf. So, let's do this. I'm going to set that large item off to the side for a moment. And we're going to start with this. Nice. I'm actually needing a new one of these. And this is a Legend of Zelda armband that is super awesome because this one is a lot tamer than the one I've been wearing. I ha I because of my job, I have to usually cover up my Star Trek tattoo and these work perfect and my camera is not refocusing. There I am. Hi. Okay. But yeah, these usually work perfect and I get to still show off my nerdiness, um, but not get in trouble at work, you know? So that's awesome. That's great, because this one's very tame. I had been wearing the MLG one that came in, I think it was my very first Loot Crate I got, which was like last June or something like that, and I had been wearing that one for the longest time. Whoa! What? Okay, next item. This is awesome. Hang on, I'm pulling this out of the packaging because this is amazing. It's actually really heavy too. This is... Huh. Nice. No way. Oh, it does. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, sorry. I'll have to show it now. This is a Batarang or Batman symbol multi-tool. It's a keychain, so you can put it on your backpack, bag, whatever, carry it around with you. And it's also a bottle opener. And believe it or not, this is so awesome. I don't know if you'd be able to see this or not. These little prongs on both ends. Um, one, this one is a flathead. And this one is a Phillips. No, this one is a Phillips. So it's two screwdrivers and a bottle opener. That is really nice. I love it. Okay, next item is a air freshener, which I have a collection of Loot Crate air fresheners chilling out. Oh, this smells good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. This is a Spock Live Long and Prosper air freshener. That is pretty awesome. And it smells amazing. So this will definitely make my room smell even better for a little while. And then it just looks awesome after that. Sorry, I had a hiccup there. Woo. Okay. Next item is this wonderful white tube of mystery. Woo! No, we're going to open that. Doo, 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 doo. Oh my god! I have always 
kind of wanted one of these. This is, I believe this is the Bombshell Wonder Woman. I have some of the Bombshell Harley Quinn stuff, like the perfume, but this is the Wonder Woman She Can Do It pinup poster. And it's a nice size, which is great because I'm running out of wall space. And this is really nice. I'm actually not a huge Wonder Woman fan, but at the same time, this is a really nice Wonder Woman print. Here's our rattling thing. Here is our button. It looks like it's Batman. And the bat symbol off in the distance. And this is, you know, the whole July Heroes 2. So that's good. That will go along with my others. Whoa. What what is what is this stuff? What is this? Ooh. What is the Oh my god. Yes. Yes. This is awesome. Okay, this is the League of Regrettable Superheroes, the Loot Crate Edition by John Morris. I'm gonna show off the cover a little bit more. I'm gonna guess that these are this is like a almost an encyclopedia of WTF superheroes. Um, let me see. The Golden Age, the Silver Age, and the Modern Age. And yeah, it looks like it's basically pointing out uh, different comic book moments and um, kind of wondering why some of these were created like Dr. Vampire, Doll Man, uh, let's see, Nightmare and Sleepy. Spy Man, Hollow Man, Skate Man. That's kind of hilarious. Look up in the sky. It's a bee. It's a witch. It's a giant eyeball. You know about Batman, Superman, and Spider Man, but you. But have you heard of Doll Man, Dr. Hormone, or Spider Queen? In the League of Regrettable Superheroes, you'll meet 50 of the strangest superheroes ever to see print, complete with backstories, vintage art, and colorful co commentary. That is pretty awesome. I love this. I'm not somebody that really likes to read, but I'm okay with sitting and reading like things like encyclopedias and informational pieces, so that's great. Next thing is, it says Brawlhalla. What is this? Brawlhalla. Okay. It is a Brawlhalla. I'll show that off. It is a free to play platformer brawler where an ever expanding cast of the greatest heroes in history battle and in a. Eternal, wow, that is a weird way to word that. Basically, it's a fighting platformer game that is free to play, and this gave me the code for some of the fighters, so that's kind of awesome. Since it's free to play, I might check that out, and if I do, I will let you know how that goes. It's available on Steam. Um, does it have a online play? I think it does. So if I end up playing that, I'll let you know. And if there's a multiplayer form, I'll leave my information for that. We got our little booklet, because, you know, what's a loot crate without a little booklet? Ooh, ah, okay. But the main item in this is a wonderful, it's a Q-pop Batman figure and it's a Loot Crate exclusive and it's from QMX which I know they're currently doing some giveaways with QMX. I'm gonna try to open this up so I can show you guys what it looks like. Well, maybe. 
Okay. So, there's a cardboard behind it said Batman. I'll probably put that on my wall. And this is supposed to be more of a vintage Batman or like TV series Batman, so that's kind of nifty. Oh, what is all this other stuff going on? Okay. First off, here is the wonderful Batman. Look at those details. That is really nice. Really, really nice. And he's nice and posed. So, you can just chill out. He has a knife, which is probably the only ni one of the only knives in the world that can cut through his uh, line. Then we also have a couple other things in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Hey guys, so by the way, this happens. Um, if you flip this loot crate inside out completely, just, you know, flatten the box out, refold it this way, you get this lovely building. This is awesome. Uh, so you got the front, goes around to this side, and you get this cute little Harley and Joker uh, graffiti down at the bottom. Have the back with more graffiti on it, of course. The side here with more graffiti on it, of course. And you also got like penguin stuff going down on down here. The top even has the rooftop and like the AC and stuff. And there's the bottom. So that's actually pretty cool because you can like set this up and then set your Batman on top. And you can find some magical way to put this on here because I I just I I don't know what I I just can't. Just can't. So, also to kind of showcase the fact that I can't, stay tuned for a little bit of a blooper reel. Yeah. Ooh, is this what I think it is? Is, 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 is this what I think it is? Explain, explain? No? Oh, there, there. Peel the This is why I wish I had nails. This courtesy of Loot Crate. Eh. Eh. Okay. Fantastic. I dropped it on the floor. Listen to Batman. <laughs> Can't get it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and remember, listen to Batman. Bye bye.